talking about turnovers. You know, I had too many turnovers tonight, especially in that first quarter. Uh, just trying to get my guys settled. Um, so there's some things to look back on, but um, you know, the defensive pressure is not going to stop. So we just got to adjust. Why did you think the bottom kind of fell out after you guys clawed back uh, and got within one on your three pointer? Yeah, I think that's just the nature of basketball sometimes where, um, you know, you get it within one or you get within five and then all of a sudden things start to crumble a little bit offensively and then defensively we're not getting enough stops and they're getting to the free throw line and they made a lot of tough threes. You got to give them credit. They shot 16 for uh, what they shoot from the three tonight. Yeah, 16 for 35. I mean, you know, game one at, at home, excited. They're making a lot of extra hustle plays. We didn't get a lot of 50-50 basketball. So there are a lot of mistakes that we have to take accountability for, um, but, but while also respecting them as an opponent. Um, you know, they're on their home floor. They feel very confident. They feel very comfortable. Uh, we just got to continue to study tendencies when we come into game two. That's going to be the most important thing, um, you know, because I feel like we did it in spurts. Um, just like in the Clipper series, we would do it in spurts, um, but we have to put a complete game together against this young OKC team because they have endless amount of energy and they're never going to stop attacking. They're going to continue to play their game. They have the confidence being the number one team in the NBA. So it's, you know, they, I feel like they have the uh, momentum on their side and we just got to come and be ready for game two. When you mentioned earlier, you didn't come in with the attitude uh, that you guys can you be more specific. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to dive too deep into it. I mean, it's, it's more or less a um, you know, shout out to my teammates because they know what I'm talking about. But um, just attitude wise, just in terms of the approach of what we're going into and also knowing that they're going to play four very high paced quarters. They're not going to slow down or, you know, get into the half court too often. Uh, you know, we know the plays that they run in the half court, but when they're getting out in transition and they're getting the ball hopping a little bit and, you know, Chet's flowing into a lot of drag screens or, or a lot of uh, trail um, opportunities where he's attacking downhill. Um, you know, those are the things that we have to clean up. So that's what I'm talking about, the attitude and approach to those things happening and then also being aware of our adjustments um, from that, you know. So if they score on one play, that's one thing. But if they continue to come down and run the same play or run different actions going at different guys, then we just have to be prepared. Shay is a guy who's pretty crafty at getting to the free throw line. He had 11 there in the first half. I guess, how do you defend him without, what's the key to defending him without fouling? Uh, I mean, again, I'm, I'm going to show my respect to Shea first. And he's, a, he's a great player. Um, you know, but tonight it, in the first half, there wasn't really a rhythm for a lot of players out there. It was a lot of slow down, watch free throws be taken. Um, and adjust to the way the game was being called. It felt like the game was being called like a regular season game tonight. Um, that's just my perspective. I don't speak for anybody else. On, you know, I don't want to get anybody else in trouble. That's just my perspective. I think that it was it was rough like a regular season game because we came come off a very physical series against the LA Clippers, and then we have some of these fouls that are called, and some of them may be fouls, right, or a majority of them. But I think when you're out there as a competitor and you just want the flow of the game to feel like the playoffs and the physicality is up there, um, you know, it just feels a lot better. But again, it's, it's all about adjustments. It's, it's really just about continuing to stay positive through some of the runs that they make and also being mature about who we're going against. They're a good team. They've shown it all year. They have a starting five that has a plus minus through the roof. I'm, you know, one of the top defenses. So, you know, again, we're going to give them credit, but we got to come in game two ready and prepared. The lob just wasn't there tonight. Do you credit that to Chet's length hedging out? Do you credit it to the weak side guy tag like what do they do so well to kind of eliminate any real threat in the paint in their pick and roll action um i mean the lob was it was there a few opportunities but um obviously when you have a great uh rim protector and chet he's gonna make things difficult um you know we had a lot of opportunities where we had chet away from the basket and we hit our bigs in the in the pocket and we just want not as successful as we need to be tonight so uh, going into game two, I have the most confidence in our bigs that they'll make the better decisions, um, you know, in that pocket off of double teams. You know, we collapsed their defense a few times today and um, we had open looks and we just didn't hit some of those. And um, some of that is a credit to their uh, defensive success. And a lot of it is credit to us just settling into the game and, and just being aware that we got to make shots, too. And also that. Um, you know, this game is a game of runs, but we, it starts on the defensive end for us. Our defensive um, identity is at an all-time high when we're doing the right things on that end, and then our offense flourishes. Yeah, thanks.